Hi, welcome to my channel, Jabber Time. I'm gonna go over um, a magic square problem. Uh, I will be adding more magic squares in the future, but one example will do for this video. Complete the magic square given below using the integers negative 10, negative 9, negative 8, negative 7, all the way to 5. And as you can see, the numbers are consistent. They're not missing any or skipping. Some of the numbers are already filled. We're missing some cells and we're gonna fill them up. And one main part in solving magic squares or building magic squares is what it says at the bottom side, what is the magic sum? And that is magic squares and magic sum. Let's get into it. Complete the magic square given below using the integers from negative 10 all the way to 5, as you could see. And what is the magic sum? Now, here's the list. I do have the colors right here from negative 10 all the way to 5, with the red numbers are already filled in. And I have the black ones that they are left for us. The sum of all these numbers is negative 40. If you add them up. That negative 40 will be distributed within four rows or differently within four columns. So if you divide negative 40 by 4, that's going to be negative 10. This is going to be called the magic sum. If you notice right here, I'm using Excel to save you some time and record the video in less time and instead of writing and erasing and adding on the side and so on. So the sum here, for example, this column is 1 and negative 10. It adds up to negative 9. The sum here is negative 9 and 0, which is negative 9. At the bottom side, the sum is 0 for the last row and so on. So here we go. Now, one more time, if you add the numbers, it's negative 40. And the magic sum will be negative 10 because that's what you should be dealing with after you divide minus 40 or negative 40 by 4. 4 rows or 4 columns. So what's left for us? The numbers on our list that they are in black. I have them listed for you. As you can see, I'm trying my best to have everything ready so you could see the whole picture in less time. I could write them one by one here and cross them out uh, like um, other teachers, maybe like using the whiteboard or a paper and document camera. But I kind of like prefer when I, whenever I can to write everything ahead of time and save you some time. So we are dealing with these numbers. We want to fill them in right here on the empty cells such that the sums right here and the sums right here are all equal to negative 10. And the column is going to end up also negative 10. The, di the diameters, I mean. So. <clears throat> I have negative 10 here and negative 1. And if I start with negative 4 right there, the reason why, if you look at this row, it has three numbers in. So what's missing is just one number. But the sum, you could add it yourself, but I already have it for you, it's negative 6. Well, we need negative 10. So what's missing is a negative 4. We need a negative 4 here, and negative 4 is available for us. It's not used, as you can see, right there. So let's fill this number, or this cell, with negative 4. Here we go. Once I do that, I'm uh, using a different color here to tell you that this has been used, and now I have these numbers left for me. But now, now going down with this column, the sum changed to negative 13. Let me take you back. The sum was negative 9. Now the sum is negative 13. Why? Well, negative 10 and negative 4 is negative 14. Plus 1 is negative 13. But we want to balance it back to negative 10. 
So what's missing here is a positive 3. Do we have a positive 3? Yes. Let's use 3 and take it off from here. Here we go. I used the 3 and I took it off from my list. So all what I have left is these numbers for the empty cells. I have different options. Here's one option. I could go this way. I could go some other ways. But I don't want to go all over the options just to give you an idea how do you approach. You approach it one way. If it's not working, you fix it and you move on and you'll be done. You don't have to try all the options. Let's go with this option. Well, in this option, in this column, uh, I want you to focus with me on the yellow cells. So far, I have a sum of negative 9 and I need a sum of negative 10. So I need two numbers here from the last given to me that adds up to negative 9, uh, negative 10. Sorry if I said it wrong. I need two numbers right here such that the sum of the column changes to negative 10. So the numbers that I need, they should add up to negative 1 with the negative 9 already in. That's going to make it negative 10. So that's a negative 3 and 2. What do you think? Negative 3 and 2. That's a negative 1 and negative 9. That will make it negative 10. I have two options. I could go here with negative 3. I'm not going to use a stylus. I'm going to write negative 3. And I'm going to write 2 here to balance it back. Now I have negative 10. So you try this option. You might say like, I'm lucky. I got it. I should take this off and move on. But take a look at this. If you want to go this approach, if you want to go with this row because it has three numbers, you could go this way also. Let's see what happens. I have a sum of negative 9. You could double check the numbers, negative 10 and 2 and negative 1. So I need to balance it back and make it or force it to be negative 10. So I need a negative 1. I can't have another negative 1 here. It's already used. And it's not one of my options right here. So I have to change my mind. Let's switch them. I'm going to put 2 here and negative 3 here, the other way around. Still, the column is agreeing to negative 10. But now I have it differently. I have negative 14 here. And also you could double check. If you have negative 14, but you have negative, but you want it to be negative 10, you need a 4. So here's a 4. A 4 is not used. As you can see, it's right there. I could use it. So I'm going to type here 4. And the sum is going to change to negative 10. Here we go. Negative 10. That's good. So 4 is used. Negative 3 is used. And 2 is used. I need to go around and finish it. Well, it's going to work out. I think this is a good cell to start with instead of these two. Or you could go down this way and finish it. Let's finish it. 1 and 2 and negative 5 adds up to negative 2. What do I need to make it negative 10? I need a negative 8. Let's write negative 8 because I could use negative 8 and I'm done. Let's go down this way. That's a negative 4 as a sum. I need it to be negative 10, so I need a negative 6. Let's write negative 6. Yes. What's missing right here is a number that makes this total sum or this total sum negative 10. It's already negative 3. I need a negative 7. And that should do it. That's if you go this way. So let's try another way. Now I'm going to go with these two cells instead of these two cells. So let's focus on these two cells. Let's go with what is missing. The sum is 3, but I need a sum of negative 10. So I need two numbers right here that makes everything negative 10. I have a 3. If I come up with negative 13, negative 13 and 3 will make it negative 10. I will have to pick between negative 7 and negative 6. That is negative 13. 
if you go some other way it's not gonna work negative 3 and 10 I don't have a 10 uh, negative 8 and let's see oh negative 8 and negative 3 but let's see we have negative 8 and negative 3 is negative 11 that's not gonna work so anyway you do it you need a negative 7 and negative 6 you could try it one way if it doesn't work switch it as we did before I do have it as negative 6 and negative 7 now I have negative 10 and to finish it I need to balance everything back and fill it to make it all negative 10s let's give it a try negative 2 negative 5 and negative 7 is negative 14 to balance it back I'm missing a 4 I could use a 4 here is a 4 and that's negative 10 which is good instead of going this way I could go this way I have a negative 7 I need a negative 10 so I'm missing a negative 3 I'll write negative 3 notice that that takes me back to what we agreed on earlier look I'll take you back what did we have here negative 3 so you want to try this way try this way it's gonna work out and here we go let's finish it negative 3 here a negative 9 is negative 12 I need a 2 to balance it back to make it negative 10 so here is a 2 and going negative 2 here this way as a sum I need a sum of negative 10 so I'm missing a negative 8 here's negative 8 and that should do it so to summarize what we have here's the final message those are the numbers that I have and the magic sum is negative 10 that's when you add all the numbers and divide by 4 why 4 because it's a 4 by 4 this should be negative 10 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 and that's what we call it the magic sum because knowing that you need to end up with ma minus 10 negative 10 every time that's the magic sum that you should look for before you start if you look at the column at the diagonals I keep calling columns by mistake that should add up to negative 10 take a look negative 2 and negative 8 is negative 10 negative 3 and 3 will cancel so that is a sum of negative 10 let's look at this way negative 7 and negative 1 negative 8 and 2 negative 6 and negative 4 is negative 10 that should do it and as you can see I'm trying to save you some time and that's how I build my notes ahead of time I go over it double check align it and have less recording thank you thank you for watching if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe and i'll see you next time thank you